It's our 50th anniversary year this year. We were founded in 1963. So we are now the only boys Roman Catholic choir school in the country. I think a lot of the parents feel that their boys have been given a great gift. truly outstanding and you can't help but think that it's the voices of God. but we have grades four through eight and, uh, and we're very, very proud of the tradition that we have. Sometimes we say it's a choir with a school, but it, in, in all reality, um, it's a choir school because the academics and the music be, um, essentially go hand in hand. Uh, how's the rest of this measure gonna go? In terms of... Um, Much of our music is in Latin, so it's hard to understand, but eventually you start to know what you're singing about Either Mr. Robinson during rehearsal, after singing it multiple times, will be like, do you guys know what we're singing about? And either we'll shake our heads or nod yes. And then he'll completely explain everything in such depth. At first when we sing uh, the Kyrie, I had no idea what it meant. Now I'm like, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy upon us, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. And it's really helping with our religion, with our uh, knowing the religion. It's hard work, partly because tr working with a boy is not like working with an adult professional singer. A boy has to be taught everything from scratch, really. When they come through the doors, they don't read any music, most of them. Um, so we're working on all of those skills from day one with the goal of best serving the liturgy in the church. And to do that, of course, they need to sing a lot of different music. So they need to learn how to read music. They need to learn music literacy. Get a, get a start on that, and I'll come around and oh, see right. how you're doing. Oh, yes, I'll, I'll go into this as well. So and the joy that comes from singing beautiful sacred music is something that we um, are very pleased is going on here as well and I think it sort of helps fuel them onto the next level of learning all the time. The music here is incredible and just going to a school where you actually have music as an important part of your day is very amazing. It's a place where a young boy that likes to sing, likes music, can be themselves. They really can. Sometimes it's not cool to be like that all the time when they're around some of their other friends. But here, everybody's like that. Uh, they can be themselves and singing. I'm not sure it's very cool compared to lots of popular music. However, what's really interesting is that the boys, when they're here, it becomes cool because their role models, the older boys, are really into singing because we're a choir school. So, you know, my dream is that the whole world would, would love Catholic sacred music and, and boys singing it. But realistically, I think we just do the best we possibly can here and little by little just show people that quality because if we can do this really well then I think that's half of the battle in showing people that it's a, a beautiful and prayerful exercise. Probably my first thought when I walked into this rehearsal room was they said I could sing but not this good. <laughs> I'm not this good. But uh, the, the choir director at the time, Mr. Dunn, said we'll, we'll get you there. We used to joke that it was like an episode of Glee um, because they do enjoy singing and they are really good at it. We'll be learning something in class and then one boy will just be singing. And I just try to say, oh, that's, 
Very beautiful, but can we save it for rehearsal? The commitment. We are here seven days a week. We start with Monday, which is pure academics. We have no music on Monday. Um, then on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the first hour is music. Wednesday nights for grades six, seven, and eight, they have to stay, they, they sing Vespers. Saturday, the grades four and five, they sing five o'clock mass. Six, seven, and eight sing Sunday, and there always is either a funeral, a wedding, a concert that happens either on the weekends or, or during the school day. It's really exciting. It's actually my first time out of the U.S. And I keep asking myself, am I really actually in Italy right now? <laughs> Gosh, you know, I come in in the mornings with, you know, a song on the radio in my head, and my classroom is right underneath the rehearsal room. And so I said, and I always leave the school day singing Alleluia, or whatever they're rehearsing, because I can hear them through the walls. A lot of the music the boys sing was written for boys' voices, so it's a different proposition than having an adult choir. The boys sound different. Their sound is perhaps sometimes more focused than, than the typical adult choir sound you sometimes get with lots of vibrato and things. Um, and so they're hearing something unique. I think they're hearing um, the Mass being prayed in a very sort of beautiful way. Um, and that aesthetic sensitivity is something that we're very keen on in the church in general. It's a beautiful church with beautiful vestments and altar frontals and things like that. Um, and so to give people an experience which is clearly beyond what they're experiencing in everyday life is a very important, powerful tool of art and music in service to the liturgy that we feel very strongly about. The essence of our school all revolves around faith. And we believe that that is the core, the essence of what we do, regardless of its music, regardless of its academics. We teach religion is three times a week. The music that we sing, obviously is very liturgical. It's all liturgical. So it's all about our Catholic faith. When one sings anything, whether it's sacred or secular, it immediately carries a whole extra dimension or more of power. If you're speaking, you have a dimension already there, but when you sing, it adds an incredible amount of depth. Our goal is to, most importantly, be the best we can be for our boys and more importantly have the experience of both musical and academic and more importantly faith and that's who, that's really who we are i love it it's great